Mark Bell for SuperTraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. Here we are doing some dynamic effort squats. I just got back from uh, Connecticut and New York where I ended up training with Derek Poundstone. Got 500 pounds of bar weight on there with around 150 or 200 pounds of bands. There's uh, Treston Scholl hitting up some box squats with good explosive speed and power um, as we always see from him. There's uh, Big Black, a.k.a. Uh, Will Alex, going with um, some raw squats. I think he's raw. Sometimes he's an undercover brother, so I don't know. He might have showed up to the gym with briefs underneath his uh, sweatpants there. G-Buff going in there, and now we got Spence. This is a great workout. We've, we got this uh, all these squats done, including the warm-ups, um, in about an hour with a lot of different guys going. Richard Lickerson even hopped in there. Uh, Matt's been losing some weight, so we're working on uh, making sure he stays conservative with his weights and make sure he moves the weights the way he's supposed to move them. For me, my uh, intention, my goal for this day, um, I always have a goal or intent um, before I walk into the gym. I don't always know exactly what I'm going to do, but I always have a goal or an intention um, for that particular day. This day, all I cared about was getting in a lot of work. I was not uh, going to get into a pissing contest with anybody. I'm just not going to start measuring my dick against anybody. I know I'd lose that battle. And uh, so I was focused in on what I was doing. Here's uh, Ryan Spencer. Ryan Spencer really, uh, really kicked a lot of ass on this day. Um, as you'll see in a minute. We'll, uh, we'll show you in a minute here. Here I'm going with five plates again. You can notice how I have a hard time staying upright. Big shock. Those of you who have been watching these videos for years are probably always wondering why I'm looking at the freaking ground when I squat. Just kind of the way I do it. I'm trying to work on it constantly. It's uh, something I have a hard time with. <clears throat> now, let's talk here a little bit about form. You see Greg Buffington's form is usually pretty good. Um, he's getting the knees out to where the ankles are, just like he should. Keeping the upper back tight. Ryan Spencer's form is much improved and I think that's why he ended up doing so well on this day. His knees are no longer traveling forward. Um, Matt Nickerson, uh, his form has gotten a lot better as well. You can see his knees weren't coming forward too much. But he's doing a lot of different things with his head. We need to work on that with him um, to keep his, uh, his head from moving around so much. You can see I got pitched forward on that second rep. Notice Treston Scholl, really good positioning here. Now, with this bar, a lot of times you take advantage of the swing and you kind of come back up with the bar, but now we got those bands anchored down in there. We have the Black Elite um, Onyx bands on there, and um, we have them doubled up. They're light bands, and um, so they're on there pretty, pretty hardcore. Here's Spence going again. It looks like he's got about 455 on there. You're going to notice as he goes up in weight, he starts to move the weights even better. Has a good solid bar position. It's got the bar low, but it's not too low. See for myself, I sometimes sit in that pocket just right and come back up just right. That was a pretty good set for me right there. Um, when I do these exercises the right way, and when I force myself to do things that, uh, that are hard for me, that's how I get better. Um, I did a lot of these squats on this day with a wider stance um, than what I'm used to. And that shit just... <laughs> just destroyed my hips but I know in the long run um, it's gonna make me stronger so I tend to try to switch it up a little bit work on where I'm weak I also sometimes will work where I'm strong just gotta try to switch things up so here's Spence going again let's watch this bit of ass kicking here he does uh, 500 for double good strong double great solid body positioning kept the abs tight um, he's really arching his weights off the box um, Spencer seems to respond really well to cues, especially as he's going, so some of us are uh, kind of, you probably can't hear them, but uh, some of us are shouting some cues to him as he's going, and uh, he tends to respond to that really well, and uh, he, just had a, he just had an awesome day. Now, there I am weighing, you know, 400 pounds more, and uh, he's squatting the same weight there. There's Treston Scholl, he started to work up in weight. And uh, here's here's Big Black going again with the shades on. Future's so bright, he's got to wear shades. 
He really had a great day, though. I mean, considering that he didn't have any gear on, he hung in there pretty good. And he got a lot of work in, just like the rest of us. Another good, strong set for Buffington, even though he's getting molested. So now we got the little fucker, um, Spence, with it looks like five plates and a ten on there now. And moves that for a double pretty easy. Form is still pretty good. Looks like he could force his knees out a little bit better. Um, but he's a little bit limited through his hips, through his, his uh, hip mobility. Plus those are new briefs too, which uh, can sometimes kind of be in your way in terms of forcing your knees out. I think here I am, I started to go up and wait a little bit. I don't know, actually I think that's still five plates. I waited to go up a little bit. I got about 11 sets in, 10 to 11 sets in before I went up and wait. There's Treston going again, just brutally fast, brutally explosive. Uh, really good form, but it goes to show you, you guys should really watch, you know, go back and watch this, rewind this, watch this shit a couple times, really, really uh, get your learn on, watch uh, Trest and Shoal go, and see the relationship between his hips and where the barbell is, and um, Greg Buffington does a pretty good job of it as well, Greg's just not as explosive, um, Greg is strong, he's just not as fast, another good strong squat for uh, Spence, Looks like he had about five and a half plates on there. Here's Matt trying to go up and wait a little bit. And see how Matt, he, when he unracks the weight, his head pitches forward. Um, and then he's trying to correct some errors uh, with his upper body um, as he's coming up off the box. There's Shoal going again with, uh, looks like around six plates. And now here's uh, Mini Me going with uh, six plates as well. And keep in mind this dude only weighs about a buck seventy soaking wet. Another good strong squat by him. Here's my fat little self going. I got five and a half plates on there. I got less weight than Spence. <laughs> but um, again it's all about what you think you need to get better. I didn't think I needed to max out on this particular day. Uh, to make to make myself better, so I only took it so far. Good strong squat by G Buff there. He's pushing the weights up a little bit, and here we got Spence going again. It looks like he's—I think he has six plates and a ten on there now. And now he's flipping somebody off. He's all fired up. Spencer kind of looks like the dude from Game of Thrones. I know he's going to hate me forever for saying that, but you got to watch the show. There's only one guy that he could look he could look like on there. <laughs> Here's Treston Shaw setting up for some big squats. Treston was able to kick my ass on this day, and he beats me by a full plate. The guy is a squatting machine, and he's fantastic when it comes to box squatting. Uh, notice uh, notice his form. It's always a little bit uh, or a lot of it superior to most everybody else in super training. Uh, with his technique, his form, his mobility, and his strength. The guy's an animal, and uh, hopefully we can get him a 2,600-plus pound total in the near future and an 1,100-pound squat. And that is it from supertraining.tv. Later.